Hi everyone, Ainsley here from Small Fry Creations and today I'm going to show you how you can make this bath caddy. Let's get going. It is cold in Sydney today. It is meant to be the coldest weekend of the year yet so let's get moving and I can warm up. What I've got here is I have got spotted gum and I have got black butt decking boards and that's what we're going to use today to make our bath caddy. On the spotted gum, what I'm going to do is cut them into 30 mil strips and then double them up for the thickness and they will make up our long rails. And then for the middle section, we are going to take our black butt. We're going to cut in some width of 580 and glue two together to make them into a panel. I have to get them through the table saw to get rid of the rounded edges so they'll joint nicely together. So let's get over there and let's get moving and warm up. Alright, I've got my strips cut into 30 mil. I'm now going to glue these up into their blocks. Just to note, I'm using waterproof glue because this is going to go on top of the bath. It really shouldn't get wet, but you know, just in case. While I glue this up, I've got my other panel over there and glue up too. I'm going to give this two hours to dry and then we can keep moving on to the next step. So I'm going to turn two hours for me into about 10 seconds for you. So let's go. Alright, my rails are out of glue and I have cleaned these up on the table saw. These aren't cut to length and they don't have any edge detail on them yet. I'm going to do that at a later step. I want to work on this middle panel and I want to start getting my accessories added in. Now, I don't know about you, but when I am soaking in the bath after a long day in the workshop, there are a couple of things I like to do. I like to be able to watch the NBA on my iPad, I like to be able to have a drink, and if I'm not watching the basketball, I like to be able to listen to some music. So I've picked myself up a cheap Bluetooth speaker, which is splash proof, and I'm going to countersink this in onto this side. I'm going to use the router to do this. I've done some tests off camera. It seems to be the best and easiest way. And then for the can of drink, I'm going to use a 70 mil Forstner bit. I would have preferred an 80 mil, but I don't have it, so I'm going to work with what I've got. Now, when it comes to the middle and holding my iPad, I have got two pieces of timber, which is offcuts from my rail. The back piece is the regular height of the timber that came, so it was 19 mil. And the front, I've cut a 10 by 10, so it won't interrupt my iPad. Now, when it comes to spacing, you want them fairly close together because you want your iPad to basically be upright. Remembering that when you're laying in the bath, if it's tilting back, it's going to be hard to see. Or at least I think anyway. So I'm going to get these into place. I'm going to get the router out and start routing that into place. And then I'll drill the hole for the force a bit. And then we can start working on the rails.
Our rails are now ready for their edge detail. So what I've done is I've measured 70 mil in from each end and then I've drawn a diagonal line from the 70 mil mark up to the halfway point of the thickness of the timber. So now I'm gonna use my jigsaw and cut that section off. I'll do that on all four sides and then I can start to glue the rails to the middle piece. Let's get going. You want to see me cut two pieces of dowels. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use these as handles on either side. I just think it's going to be a little bit easier to get it on and off the bath. That's what I think anyway. I'm going to glue everything upside down because I want my middle piece to come out flush with my two rails. I've got my hole drilled for my soft drink and also my hole routed out for my radio. I'll glue on the bit for the iPad after I've done this glue up. And then really we're up to sand and finish. So we are really almost at the end of this project. So This bath cutty is now basically done. I am just applying the last coat of finish, which is just some Cabot's Clear Satin Polyurethane. Once this is done, I'll give it to dry, and then it is time to relax and sit in the bath. So I hope you have liked this video. If you have, help me out by hitting those subscribe and like buttons down below. Also, make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on my next video, and I'll see you next week.